I don't think there are very many truths in this world. I think most of what we deal with are beliefs and opinions. They're not facts. And I would find that uh, I've spent most of my life coming from a very arrogant point of view that my belief is somehow better than your belief or that my opinion is more valuable than your opinion. Uh, and I simply want to rid myself of that. You have every right to believe what you believe and you probably have just as much reason to believe it as I'd like to believe that I have on the things that I you know, hold so dearly. So I try to start with curiosity and I try to start with fascination. Um, so let, let's just say we pulled any topic out of a hat and you and I were going to either discuss it or debate it. And if I found out immediately that, that your view of something drastically opposed my view, Instead of leaning in with judgment or trying to take a small snapshot of, of the very limited information that I'd have of what I know about you or, or trying to convince you that I'm right or try to undermine what you believe, none of those things increase connection or increase my ability to learn. Instead, I try to lean in with a fascination and go, wow, that is really interesting that, that Charles believes something completely different than I do. You know, both of us are human beings walking this earth, yet his experiences in life and the things that he's been educated on has led him to a different conclusion than what I've come up with. That really fascinates me. I'm intrigued. I'm genuinely interested in how you could think something so differently than what I think. Um, and, and I'm ridding myself of any type of self-righteousness. This has nothing to do with, well, I'm right and he's wrong, uh, or I'm good and he's bad. It's, it's all a level playing field. And, and, and the beliefs that I now have, they're just the right fit for me. I would never in a million years tell someone that what I believe is right, that it's correct, that it's better. It just simply works with, with my philosophy and perspective of the world. But all of these things are open for change. And that's the other reason that I want to be incredibly curious is if you have some information or perspective that, that I'm not privy to and I can learn that and it actually gets me to change my mind and actually puts me on a higher path or can start getting better results, I'd be incredibly foolish not to be open to that. You know, so to me, the, the fascination is, you know, I, I can't believe this person believes this or I can't believe this person says this. I want to dig a little deeper just to find out why. And, you know, once again, we're coming on the heels of a year. These past 18 months with the pandemic have have been fascinating, to say the least. You know, whether you talk about something politically, uh, you talk about the social unrest, uh, you talk about obviously the actual global pandemic and how to resolve that. All of these things have been positioned to be very, very polarizing. You're either with me or you're against me, you know, and, and I don't want to go through life like that. You know, I have uh, friends and colleagues that I respect and adore immensely that have very differing perspectives on those three things that I just mentioned to you. And I'm okay with that. I don't let that get in the way of our friendship. If anything, I try to learn as much as I can from them. And, you know, I, I think uh, I'm certainly no expert debater by any means, but I think in order to be a free thinker and to actually be able to have intelligent conversations and to be good at the art of debate, you have to learn just as much about the other side and the other perspective as you know about your own so that you can discuss it you know, intelligently. And, and these are things I'm trying to work on. So I intentionally listen to podcasts and read books and do things with people that I know have a, a viewpoint that challenges my own, that might even be the exact opposite of my own, but I want to do that again, leaning in with this curiosity and this fascination.